With ice still building in the street outside Austin Street Center. You live, and you, uh, you live one day at a time. Doug Tucker is living inside for the first time in 13 years. Since February of 2011. The former truck driver usually piles up blankets on a downtown Dallas street corner. This week, he says he couldn't do it anymore. I have a genuine desire to stay inside off the street now because it's just uh, physically it's breaking me down. With that threat from this weather, emergency shelters in Dallas, including Fair Park, are keeping an estimated 2,000 homeless out of the cold, while offering medical help, mental health services, and a chance to find a permanent home. Because you never know when you hit the person on the right day that they decide that day is the day they're willing to accept support. I'm blessed and I'm grateful. For Mark Jackson, it was the gift of a cell phone. After three months on the street, he had a job interview on that phone today. Hopefully I'll be on my feet next time this comes around, but I'm grateful to everyone who's helped out and who's supported us. Still, there are hundreds, like Paul Miller Jr. How are you able to stay out here in this weather? I'm a Yankee. He and so many others on the lawn in front of City Hall refusing to go to a shelter because he can't take all his stuff with him. All that's gone. It's gone. You got to give it away when you go in. Yes, right. One bag. Ultimately, homelessness isn't just an addiction issue or just a mental health issue. It's a housing issue, and we need to make sure we're addressing the housing for every people we come in contact with. Mark and Doug are two of those people so far. Help offered during a cold snap. You live and you, uh, you live one day at a time. Giving them hope for a better one day more. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.